Hey everyone, it's Tesla Tom here. Thank you so much for joining us. Next to me here is my uh, 2015 Tesla Model S with AP1. It is now seven and a half years old and six months out from the uh, warranty expiring for the battery and powertrain. Uh, today I want to check out the battery degradation for this car using the Scan My Tesla app and the uh, OBD Bluetooth adapter as well. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are in the 2015 Tesla Model S and uh, in order to uh, access the CAN bus port of your car for the 2015 S, uh, you must pull down the storage compartment underneath the infotainment screen here. So to do that, you need to uh, put both hands into the uh, storage area and just gently just pull it down like that and firm and it should just fall out like this and you'll see that uh, there is a cable that comes out like that. I'll just uh, bring you closer. Once you pull out the storage area here, you want to look for a port that looks like that. It's blue colored in my vehicle, looks like that. And then uh, you need to buy this harness here. I got this from eBay and it looks like that on this end. Just show you there. And then on this end, looks like that. Okay. Now apparently September 2015 is the cutoff for the different uh, ports. So this is a pre-September 2015 uh, port and then anything after that you need to buy something else. So check the Scan My Tesla website for information and then uh, you need to buy something like this which is the OBD Link MX Plus in my case because I've got uh, an iPhone. Uh, if you've got an Android device apparently you can get the green one which is a bit cheaper. But uh, this cost me $195 from Amazon and this harness was like $14. Uh, so not too expensive and the scan my Tesla app is uh, $13 uh, to download in Australia. So overall you're looking at about $230 to uh, access uh, the information you need from your Tesla. Okay, so there it is there. It's uh, flashing yellow and red in the middle. That uh, means it's connecting to my app and Bluetooth in blue on the right means it's a solid connection. And of course green power on the left means uh, it's powered from the car. Okay, so let's go through the Scan My Tesla app and I've got the settings up here and uh, I've got it on Bluetooth. Uh, I'm looking at the Model S today and uh, it is after a firmware 2023.36. I think they mean 2022.36, that might be a, a typo there. Uh, it's certainly after 2020.20.5. I want it in kilometers, Celsius, uh, Newton meters as well. So uh, let's have a look at the uh, hamburger menu and you can see the dashboards here. And so there it is right there. And so information there, we've got full pack at 62 kilowatt hours. And by the way, uh, before I calibrated this uh, battery, my car's battery, um, it was showing 60. So in the space of calibration, it's actually gone up by two kilowatt hours, which is fantastic. Uh, and by calibration, this is my protocol here because it's, um, I've sort of shown that with calibration, you can actually get it within 1% uh, margin of error if you were to do it from service mode in a Tesla Model 3. So presumably in the Tesla Model X, it's also very similar. Uh, you can't do service mode battery health check in this car, unfortunately, but you can in the Model 3, and I've shown that there's 1% margin of error if you calibrate the battery. And by calibration, I mean basically driving the car down to 0% or very close to zero uh, twice. So I've done this now in, in both, uh, both times, driven to 9% and 8% respectively, and then charge up to 100% or very close to 100%. Uh, this car doesn't like being at 100% too, too much because it's an NCA battery. I think it's NCA. I, I wasn't quite sure whether the, uh, the older Teslas, 2015s, were tw NCM or NCA, but I think it's NCA uh, after doing some reading. And thank you also to one of the viewers who said that uh, these cars are NCA. So nickel, cobalt, aluminium. Uh, same with my Model 3. So I just want to make a correction for those videos I've done so far looking at the battery state of health. It's actually an NCA battery, not NCM. So just a little correction from those videos. Uh, nickel cobalt aluminium okay so back to this so full pack of 62 uh, kilowatt hours and if we look at EV database and there's the EV database website there showing a Tesla Model S 70D from April 2015 to April 2016 which is exactly this car it's got a usable battery of 66.5 kilowatt hours so therefore I'm going to use that figure as my denominator to calculate the battery degradation so back to the scan my Tesla app uh, we've got a full pack of 62 kilowatt hours. So if I use my calculator, so 62 divided by 66.5, that's 93%. So there you go, 7% degradation of this vehicle in seven uh, and a half years. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, I guess I did a previous range check before 
using uh, percentage and uh, did an average of you know a few trips and that was looking more like 10% or over. So I think this is far more accurate of 7% degradation um, from the original battery pack if you use the EV database um, uh, figure. So I'm, I'm impressed. That's actually better than the Tesla Model 3 uh, NCA uh, performance battery uh, after three and a half years. So this car's going strong. I'm really happy with it. So well done Tesla um, for an amazing vehicle, honestly. Um, so let's see, so full pack 62, we've got that remaining 34.2 kilowatt hours and the battery state of charge is now 52% as my car shows and there's a buffer of 4 kilowatt hours as well and the range is showing 325 kilometers full. I don't really pay too much attention to uh, range as you guys know if you watch my channel. So let's keep going with uh, the rest of the dashboard here. So uh, CAC, we've got this information as well in, uh, in one of the other menus, you can see all the uh, all the figures too, uh, but you can see CAC, that's important as well, the higher the figure the better. Um, and then if you look at, this is the battery coolant, and uh, yep, there's some figures there for us, so cooling target 52, passive target 30, uh, yep, passive target 40 degrees, and for the powertrain cooling target is 60, and then we've got DC-DC converter, and the 12 volt system looks pretty good. Um, and then we've got high voltage battery figures there. It's running at 1.2, 1.3, cycling around there, 1.5, because I've got the AC on as I'm talking to you now. And then this is some information you can look at when you're driving. This is the amount of power going to the motors. And again, this is the current battery temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Nice. And again, that's how much, uh, power the car is using about one kilowatt state of charge 51 percent now if we look at some of the signal lists so this is where it's really interesting so uh, you can you can sort of differentiate what you want to see so if you want to just see the performance of the car you can see that you can sort of uh, show information like that that's pretty funky and you can make it bigger or smaller like that Ooh, that's kind of reverse isn't it minus is bigger maybe minus means less information so yeah, more information there about battery voltage, power, cell temperature, cell average voltage. Uh, and then you can look at information about uh, the speed. That's more for, I guess, real time when you're driving. And then temperatures of each of the cells as well. That's pretty interesting. Okay, more information there. If you just want to look at the battery, we'll go through each one, of course. That's the BMS. Um, and there's some more totals there. And... Yeah, let's look at the all, then we can sort of encompass everything we're talking about here. So what can we see? So we've got, I must just make it bigger so we can um, have a look at it from here. There we go. Okay, so uh, I've got my pointer here so I can show you some information about the vehicle. So outside temp is 22.5, inside temp 23. And then we've got the HVAC at 21 degrees. Okay, scrolling up. Uh, it's uh, running at about 0.91 kilowatts with the AC going. Battery voltage 316, state of charge 51.9%. Uh, and then you can see the odometer at 109,000 kilometers. That's how far this car is driven. Some more information about, that, about the battery power. So nominal full pack 62 kilowatt hours, like I said, with calibration, running it to 0% or very close to 0%, charging 100% and then doing the same thing again. So that's my protocol, doing that twice and then driving it a little bit. Uh, and then letting the cells rest, I got an extra two kilowatt hours out of this information. Yeah, so 62 kilowatt hours uh, divided by 66.5, that's, yeah, like I said, 93%, so 7% degradation. Uh, absolutely amazing. Um, so look at this DC charge, 1,853 compared to AC charging, uh, 25,000 kilowatt hours. So what is that? So 25.6 plus 1.8, um, so 25.6 divided by 27.4. So I've DC charged this car only 7% of the time, whereas the remaining 93% has been AC charging. So I've tried to look after the battery as much as I can uh, by slow charging at home. And have a look at this. So regen percentage is 33.8%. So um, it's actually used regen braking 33.8% of the time, which is pretty good. I, I thought it was more like 25%, but not as good as um, my wife's 20. Uh, 19 performance model 3 so she was 55 percent so clearly she uses regen braking far more than i do or or that car is better regen braking um i think she'd like to think she uh, is uh, a more conservative driver with her brakes uh whereas maybe i'm just uh, 
having more fun with this vehicle. Um, and that kind of correlates with this too. So regenerative uh, 13067 kilowatt hours um, out of a total discharge of 38,672. So that is roughly around that uh, 33, 34% mark. And check this out too. So full rated range, 412 kilometers, uh, full ideal range, 328. I don't, kind of don't take much notice of the uh, full rated range. Uh, whereas ideal range, uh, that's kind of what it is at the moment, uh, 328 kilometers. Um, and that fits in with that 7% degradation. I think it was about 350 when I first took this car at six months of age. It was second hand at the time. And if we look at the charge cycles, so this car has been um, discharged and charged 624 times. So in seven and a half years, pretty amazing really. And then again, you can scroll through all the different cell temperatures uh, through the entire pack, which is amazing, and all the voltage as well. That's cool. And the other figure apparently is the CAC numbers. So uh, I'm in the low 200s, which apparently is quite good. Uh, the higher the number, the better for the battery health of the vehicle. So look, I think overall, guys, it's, um, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this uh, 2015 uh, Tesla Model S 70D with uh, an NCA battery which I try to charge to 80% pretty much every night. Um, I don't calibrate it too much um, because I, I don't think you should be discharging to 0% or charging at 100% too often. Apparently it's okay to leave it at zero or close to zero. It's not too damaging to the battery, but keeping it 100% um, a lot of the time, if you're not driving off, is, is not as good for the battery for, in terms of longevity. Uh, you, you can tell too when you're trying to charge the car to 100, it's, it sort of tries to get to 100, it sort of keeps charging the very low uh, low current to try and get there. So I think it's not very stable at the top end. Tesla do say on the website, don't keep the car at zero or 100 too often. Uh, particularly at 100, I reckon if you're gonna charge to 100, try to drive off as soon as you can, or uh, if it's possible uh, after you charge to 100. At zero percent, apparently it's okay, but obviously the risk is that you will get stranded somewhere if you uh, suddenly run out of juice at zero percent. Either way, I reckon for longevity, as I've done, Try to keep your battery topped up to 80% most of the time. Try to AC charge as much as you, as you can. That seems to be the consensus for keeping good battery health. And keep it around that sort of 30, 20 to 30% at the low end, and then about 80, 90% at the top end for an NCA or an NCM battery, uh, such as this 2015 Tesla Model S. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm happy, Hope you, hopefully you're happy with this number as well, 7% degradation after seven and a half years. Hopefully if you're looking for a Tesla to buy or an EV, it'll give you some confidence that uh, those batteries or these batteries do last the distance uh, over time. Uh, all the myths about battery degradation. I don't know, I don't think, I think it's a bit overblown. Um, that's not the battery dying, that's the car shutting down because I've been sitting in here too long. Um, but yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, these batteries do last if you look after it like I've done. Thanks so much for watching everyone and until the next ludicrous feed video, happy charging.